President Zuma critical of government's late payment of suppliers, and SABC signs major broadcast deal with SAFA. Good day to you. President Jacob Zuma says government's non-compliance in paying suppliers within 30 days has reached alarming levels. He was speaking at the Soweto International Conference on Small Business Development at the University of Johannesburg's Soweto campus. President Zuma says government should contribute to the development of small businesses by improving its ability to pay suppliers on time. Reports indicate that 80% of new small businesses collapse within two years in South Africa because they're not paid on time. President Zuma says the problem has been a serious challenge to business for a long time now. Members of the DA have dispersed after embarking on a march in Johannesburg against Kasatu's rejection of a youth wage subsidy. The march turned violent when members of Kasatu affiliated unions and the DA started throwing stones at each other. Two people, including a photographer, were wounded. Police intervened by firing rubber bullets. Earlier, DA leader Helen Ziller said they were determined to expose Kasatu. In South Africa, what do we see? Kasatu, a place to stand for the poor, are opposing jobs for the weakest and the poorest unemployed youth. We will expose you the days of hiding are finished. We will expose the lies. Gauteng Correctional Services says inmates who've embarked on a hunger strike at the Leocorp prison in Sunning Hill, north of Johannesburg, are not due for release under the special remission of sentences. The inmates are refusing to eat, demanding to know why they will not be released. Correctional Services spokesperson, Offense Morwane. The process of releasing the offenders who qualify for special remission started yesterday. This process is done in a systematic way and this includes releasing offenders in categories and in controllable groups. However, the offenders who demanded to know why they are not necessarily being released do not fall within the categories of offenders that have been released this week as this category includes only disabled offenders, your elderly people, your female offenders as well as your juvenile offenders. The Justice Minister Jeff Khadebe says it's crucial that every South African has access to judicial services. He was speaking at the official opening of a new multi-million rand magistrate's court at Ashton in the Boerland. The minister says it was unacceptable that the area's impoverished community had no access to courts. It is important that our people have access to justice. So coming to a place like this, the facility that we have provided, a world-class facility, not only court services, but also sheriffs, maintenance, as well as master services, are so important to ensure that our people have access to justice. The SABC and the South African Football Association have signed a three-year broadcast rights deal. The public broadcaster will pay the association 215 million rand for the rights to broadcast matches of Bafana Bafana, Banyana Banyana and the under-23 team. The SABC still has to negotiate the rights for Bafana Bafana's away matches with Sports 5 who hold the rights. SABC Group CEO Lulama Makobo. I mean, that was the single most critical reason why we wanted to enter into this relationship well ahead of time so that we can make sure that every single fan and non-fan has the opportunity to watch Bafana. A man has set himself alight outside a courthouse in Norway's capital Oslo where mass killer Anders Breivik is being trialled. The top story at five o'clock. President Jacob Zuma says government's non-compliance in paying suppliers within 30 days has reached alarming levels.